Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Lewis and Ben. Let's save the world. Lewis and Ben, Steve, you jump in too soon. <laughs> That's the problem, Ben. Do we need no. to work on it? Yeah, we have yeah. some practice. Hello, and welcome back to Lewis and Ben. Save the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a bit too long of a pause there. <laughs> we'll work on it. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> trial and error. I'll uh, just keep overcorrecting massively until we somehow swing back into the middle. Tea has been acquired. Yep. Um, I'm teed. I have, teed up. I have collected green tea. Ben has collected brown tea. Would you like to try this green tea? I got it from Japan, so it is nice. Oh. It's the proper brown. I bought two cups as well, but... You know, cool. I'll give it a go. I was I'll considerate. Try it's 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 the it's the roasted brown rice popcorny tea. Thing. Oh, I've had some of this before. Yeah, yeah and you, you made didn't it. like it. That no, was all right. Um, do you know what? You just I think you have more of a weeaboo Ben. If you I used to be. Oh, back okay. in the day. No, no. Like, but not for like I I just got really into like Japanese history of like pre oh. pre industrial Japan. Oh, I don't think that's being a weeaboo. Um, no, but also weeaboo didn't exist when I was interested. <laughs> like that right. wasn't a word because the internet. But you were interested wasn't big. in general historical wars and stuff. You, mm. I mean, I think you like me. You, you probably would have done history at school if you didn't have like a terrible teacher for it. Oh, my my secondary school teacher for history was the worst. Mm. She was like literally a stone cold bitch. It I was hated it her. was Hitler. She was Hitler. <laughs> um a stone cold bitch. Yeah. She was horrible and nearly well, she obviously didn't put me off it cuz I still love history, but like ugh she turned my favourite subject into like I'm kind of glad I didn't subject. study history though at university because mm. then I wouldn't have any job ever. ever, <laughs> ever managed to get As opposed to your chemistry degree, which led straight into the Yogg's cast. I didn't. I worked in chemistry for for a couple <laughs> of years. Actually, I didn't really. I did a year in it, and then I couldn't stand it anymore. But four years, I felt like I'd. There's a UFO here, Ben. I'm looking at it. Oh, well, we'll never catch it, will we? We picked it up. It's an unidentified flying object. It could be anything. Uh, do you remember how wrecked blimp. we got last time? could just be a flipping... We caught one once, and we lost the whole squad. What do we do with this strange life form? Oh, uh, can we get more info? Okay, so it's probably just a couple of beasties. Let's send a, let's send a capture team. Which is that Sexbot Joe and Mr. Epic? Um, we might need a two-man, uh, like a truck, like a four-man. Do you think? Yeah, you want to send a full truck? Okay, send a full truck. Oh, we can't. Oh, the patrolling truck, yeah, yeah, of course. This is why it's out. It's already ready to respond. Oh, my God! I'll put it, uh, yeah, no, redirect, redirect. It'll probably Still. take off before we can get there, but we're not a million miles. Mo Civilians versus monsters! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a terrible new movie coming out this spring. Um, well, we have to go to that. Right, well, we can't really... Okay, the car? If we f if we fail this, we'll go that way, right? What about the car? Get the car out. What the car to Sisters versus Monsters? No, the car could go take out the life forms in the s in South Africa. Oh right, okay. So we we'll do the car with Sexbot Joe, and uh, we'll take the dog off. Yeah, this is not a dog dog mission, is it? No, we, this is this is um. Mr. Epic and Sexbot. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just enjoying a lovely a lovely lovely drink of of, of this. Oh, it's off. No. All right. We'll, okay. We'll, okay. We'll go civilians we'll versus monsters then. <laughs> monsters. Oh, wow. This car is fast. It actually gets to places. It does before the sun sets. Some pretty good. Oh, it's gonna be tight. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. I think we're gonna make it. Fly straight into South Africa. It's dusk. I'm gonna patrol. Yeah. You gotta wait till morning. Yeah. I don't want to risk you having to fight strange life forms in South Africa in the dark. Yeah, fair enough. But even if you just turn up on a band, and that's actually okay, because we've got so much score. Also, I kind of want to see what Citizens vs. Monsters is all about. All right, Mr. Carr. Okay. Um, wow, okay. Shotgun Magnum stun equipment. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Sexpot Joe, is he a good shot? Yeah, he's a better shot than Mr. Okay. Epic. You have the um, super right. Oh, he can't, can't carry HK at the same time. Oh, he oh, needs some ammo. Some magnum then. There we go. Those backpacks make, make a big difference. You're right. Mm. You're right. It allows 
uh, of HK in your backpack. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's kind of overkill anyway. Uh, you can always pick it up off the floor if he feels like he needs it. Okay, we'll just go with shotgun and sniper. Well, sniper will do... Oh, hello. Oh, civilian. Okay, fine. What are the other things? Oh, it's giant beetles. Okay. I reckon okay. we can just blow a few of them up and then... Just Wait, where are the other ones? There's one there. Oh, there's one there. Okay, right. Well, they get eaten. We need to deal with that. Snipper on the snipe. Snip right, there. This. You hit a giant beetle. This is the ultimate test. <laughs> yeah. I used to swap one romp rat. Yeah, it's just like a uh, womp rat. Yeah, it's exploded. Fuck you. Man, I never really people. thought about it at the time, but like Luke Skywalker is the equivalent of a redneck driving around in his jeep shooting like dingoes. Pretty much, isn't he? <laughs> like, if he's just flying around. We might have to see if critters. we can take one of these. I don't know how tough they are, though. Yeah. I don't want to get accidentally used to ever get killed by one. Yeah, but I think HK is probably the um, the choice here. The choice here. Don't Rather need the shotguns. shotguns. I was yeah. worried it was going to be big things, but it's, it's not big things. All right. No line of fire. How many do you reckon we got to take out? I don't know. There could be a few of them. There's quite a few. All right, civilians. Don't worry. Mr. Epic and Sex Watch Joe here three to, of them. to take down all these cockroaches. And we are like just glorified exterminators, right? <coughs> Ooh. That's right. Sex Watch Joe's got it. Oh nope. my god. You, you don't got it. Okay, maybe you do got to get the shotgun. Uh, not enough time units to fire. Crouch down. Put, put gun down. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. Got to get a shotgun. Yeah, maybe you do. No, no. They're backing off. I guess if they back off, that means they are out of range to come and attack us. Yeah. I always get scared when they run at us because I think it means they've got enough time units. Yeah, there. that's it. We just don't know how far, how far these things can go. I like the choice of target there because if it went straight, it might have hit one of the ones in its line, and it was the same at target accuracy too. Yeah. Well, I figured shooting these, I might just hit the dirt instead. That seemed to happen a lot. You can see another one. What can he see? Oh. Not there, apparently. No line of fire. <laughs> Flying to me. Um, oh. Is it's that dead, a dead one? Oh. Yeah. It's kind of a mess, but... I can't tell if these are hitting or not. I think they are. Well, they're flanking us. We can cut glitches. So many. All right. I think we just keep going, right? Give them some auto fire now. They're a bit closer. Okay. Auto fire. The old reliable. Mm -hmm. Isn't there one up on the? Um, there's one up on that ramp, I think. What? And then there. Up here? No, no. The, the one, the pyramid closest. That one. Yeah, there's one up here somewhere. Watch out. So you might want to move back a bit. Okay. Um, That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Move yeah. back a few tiles. You're saying it good. Also, you might want to watch out behind. Okay, you're just gonna I'm just going to keep firing. You can't, you can't kill me if they're dead. Oh, hello. Oh, um, it's not behind us. All right. I think these guys have natural armor, and that's why we're having trouble with them. That's my theory. Do you think I'm a theory? I like the theory. A lot of hits. So this hunting rifle is probably not so hot. Ah. Oh, civilian's dead. Shit. Well, that was kind of inevitable. In fact, they killed it in one turn was pretty spooky. Yeah. He says he can see. He made a roar like a lion. It's in the middle of the screen. Oh. Oh, it's tiny. Little fucking guy. 26. 17. Am I hitting it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking dead. Oh man, I'm getting through this tea. Bad I. If you don't want, by the way, that cup. I'll, oh, I'll sorry. I'm just, I'm just been playing. I oh no, it's okay. I'm just saying that like, you know. I'm just saying. No, you thank know, you. It's, thank it's, you. If you really tea. don't like it, I haven't tried it yet. I'm too busy okay. shooting cockroaches. <laughs> bam! 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 Uh, there's so many of these flipping things. Come on, boys. Oh, God. Move, move back a bit. I'm just scared of it running up to poor Mr. Epic and giving him a hard time. Mm. You might need to get some more ammo. 
Yeah, he's not stood on the ammo pad. Um, See, there you go. Side of the car, man, yeah. We'll get them. We'll get them, guys. Shit, there's a lot. It's a real infestation of cockroaches here. What chat saying? Uh, they're saying I was right about the armor. Um, 43. Yeah, okay, I could take an aim shot with this. Oh, and throw it on the floor. No, it's a clip. You've got a magnet. Well, I was thinking if I drop the uh, thing, I can fire the... Oh, does it have a range penalty? We'll find out. But, sod it. Magnum's quicker. Um, hmm. Is it going to be okay to shoot from there? Yeah, I hope so. Oh, that's a relief. This game always still makes us like clench like, our yeah, butt. Yeah, it really but, uh, does. Oh, it really, oh, well, I uh, misclicked anyway. Just wanted to empty that, that magazine so that next turn I can just load a fresh clip. Oh, yeah, we've got a lot of them. Um, I think we can probably just like mop up now. Yeah, let's, we'll, we'll, re, we'll just yeah move up and just keep shooting away, blinking them away when they run into range. Uh, there's a shotgun. Maybe you want to see the other... Oh, but I could put the armor okay. piercing shells in the shotgun. Oh, I see. Um, I don't know if that actually helps. Well, we, it, that's literally what they're for. For but piercing armor. It's weird that the... It's weird that the, for example, the... It's weird that we do armor piercing damage, but they get plus 50% yeah. armor. I don't understand how that. Well, armor piercing is a is a type of is a damage type. Yeah. That most most weapons deal armor piercing damage. Um, like that's just the standard damage. It means it's not incendiary, it's not electrical, it's not plasma. Yeah. And then um, armor the stat on their character sheet is different to that, right? Yeah. So let's have a look at the armor that we're wearing, for example. So ours is twenty. Right. Um. So what they get thirty. Yeah. So, so the armor gets damaged. So you get twenty. Oh, I see. 20 armor rate. So that'll be 30, effectively. Yeah. Right, so what does that do? Does that just take 30 damage off of all hits that go into the front? I think so, yeah. Flat 30 off. So we're talking like... But remember, weapons do damage equal to like 50 to 150% of their damage stat. Yeah. You just roll for damage, averaging at your, your damage value. Yeah. So like a 30 damage shot might do um, 45 damage. Yeah. I see, so it'll do... But it might only do... do 30. So a 60 damage shot will do 30 to 60 damage. Yeah. But if we... if they've then got minus 30. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So it's quite high. There's a fairly high chance of doing no damage at all. Um, but I mean... Yeah. But I mean, normally it would be 30 damage minus 30. Minus 20. So it would be 10 damage normally. But yeah. we're averaging 20. So it's still better than the old one. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying... Um, the shotgun's armor piercing damage is good because... Oh, I've dropped this on the floor now. Can I run to it? No, I'll have to show you next turn. Because um, it does high damage. Oh, here we go. Where is it? Without the armor piercing shells. Oh. Uh, so it does 40 oh, it does armor 40. piercing instead of 63 armor piercing. So I mean, yeah, I see what you mean. I thought it was higher than that. So the fact that it, it does 20 more armor piercing damage effectively because we worked it out from the thing. Yeah, so it just depends what their armor, the bug's armor rating is. Yeah, and I don't think they're going to have armor of 20. But obviously, I think bearing in mind stuff does have armor. It's usually going to be, it might be higher from the front. Yeah, like that's true. Is. I don't know. Probably. I yeah. feel like we should have, like, it should show on the autopsies. Yeah, I mean? it should give us those stats once we've studied them. Yeah, it should be like, okay, well now we know that. Because in most games, like, you can just, like, scan the enemies. Oh. The rest of them surrendered? No, nope. nope. killed them all. Well, didn't even take any part. Man, losing that civilian was Maybe rough. Maybe we should have tried and take one. Never mind. Giant beetle corpse. Job done. All right. So we're going to go with monsters versus eight. Oh, shit. We were too slow. Oh, we missed monsters versus civilians. Monsters versus monsters. Shit. That wasn't around very long, was it? I know. It was really quick. I was sending that truck back out for um, patrols. Oh, yeah. I am Iron Van. Oh, Trontstar says, oh, thanks for all the years of entertainment. Looking forward to a new video. Wow. Thanks, man. Thank you, random guy in chat. Crop circles, that's the car, right? And dog. Yeah, man and dog. Can handle that pretty quick. Oh, I'm disappointed now. I got excited by the fucking Godzilla attack. Yeah, me too. 
Let's do a quick couple of donations, shall we, since, since we're reading things. We've got three people to name. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much to, obviously, Six Dicks Joe <laughs> says, uh, amazing. So he's 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 still in Sexbot Joe. Yeah. You're still in. You're still alive. I think he wants. No, to but Sexbot Joe is is not Six Dicks Joe. I think it is, isn't it? Well, he's saying he's a different person. Should he, we just I, believe him? Well, I don't believe that. I believe you're the same Joe. Because <laughs> <laughs> if he had Six Dicks, why wouldn't you be a Sexbot? I think we made made him that. Yeah, that's that is he's named after him, right? I don't think it is. I think that was a different person who wanted to be a Sexbot. Let me know if you're. Well, he just did. You sent us fifty. $5. No, that was Sexbot Joe. That was Six Dicks Joe. I want Sexbot Joe to let me know that he's a different, he's person. A different person. So you need double confirmation. Yeah, from from both parties. Yeah, I basically, I can't take your word for it. Uh, Lf K says, "Greetings, commanders. If my chump survives long enough, all I ask is that you let him have a shot at tasing those damn bees. <laughs> you want to take on the bees? That's insane. The bees are the most deadly enemy. No one face. wants to take on the bees. The bees are like the fucking god Mad killer." Man. We don't even know how to kill the bees even now. All right. There you go, Ben. There's some crap. Oh, there you go. Joe Von Hoff says, I am Sexbot Joe, not my esteemed colleague, Six Dicks Joe. Don't believe you. But he's called Joe. It says Joe Van Hoff. It's don't, a different don't Joe. Don't believe you. Go on, Ben. It's your, you've got to do a mission. Come on. Different Joe. I don't, 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 don't believe you. Too many. It's going to be confusing. Speed Fox says, congratulations, Ben, on becoming the fourth best spaceboat king in the world. Have some pints on me. Oh, thanks, did man. Did you do any vlogging while you were out there? It would be cool to see what it's like. I we did. Are I did do a little vlog. We are going to go through what Ben recorded. I should point out, I not. I didn't come fourth in the world. Um, I came fourth in my heat. Yes. And so that puts me in, like, the, I'm either seventh or eighth overall, because there were two heats. But you did play against the US national champion. Just play the game. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah. the US yeah. champion. So you feel, you, and you also you only really played, you only played four games. Yeah, I didn't have a lot of practice. So beating the North American and the US champion in four games. But yeah. then again, that's what you get. The world's you get high quality. Yeah, everyone was owner. very, very good. Because and people have had to fly out for it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, and they, um, I hung out with like a whole bunch of guys. There was like the, oh, there's a zombie. Okay. And a uh, brainwashed farmer. Do we have to take those by stun? I think so. Let's just get up there. Oh man, dog on zombie mission doesn't sound good. Right. But yeah, I hung out with like the, the the German champion, the Australian champion. Like there was loads of cool guys there. Who'd all did you actually hang out? With I thought you beat the German champion by one point. I did. And but we still went for like drinks after. I did a game. lot more drinking and board game playing than I did playing Armada really? when I was out there. Yeah, because I was there for a week. What did you play? Um, all sorts of things. Um, we played an eight-player game of Captain Sonar. That was. Um, did you? That was good fun. With Absolute madness. Yeah, it is a bit of a hectic mess. Um, so I've heard. What's he seen? Zombie in there. Zombie in there. Ooh, this is not what we signed up for. But at least he's still alive, that, that man. Yeah. I think we meant a KO here. I think so, but we can do that. While there's a zombie around, it, I don't want to take any chances. Is this one time? Normally the farmer missions are 10 turn limits, but... I guess because there's zombies. To tech. Okay, he's six. That one. So he's like behind this tractor. Mm. Maybe we go in and we stun the farmer. Yeah. So we could probably have to do that anyway. What does it cost eight? Let's sprint. Okay, we'll club this guy. And back, back to Doge. Okay, he's hiding out behind the car. Flush him out, boy. Ruff. There he is. Do we go and nat and like attack him a couple of times, or do we run in, shoot him, back out, run the dog in, eat him? Yes, in that exact order. Run in. Rat tat tat. <laughs> Spray him. With, spraying with bullets. We'll give him one bullet, and then just run away. We could hit him another couple of times, but yeah, we could just go and savage him a bit and then back off. Maybe we could back off. Then, then come. Is he going to come? He's, he's running. He's hiding around like there. an idiot. Using up all of his time. <laughs> all of his stamina. I think you just keep shooting. Yeah. Oh. Bottle gnomes, come on. 
hit more Liz. Okay, bite him. Bite him, God, Badger King. Get him, boy. Get him. No. <laughs> oh, How much damage does the dog do with his attack? Does it say? Uh, 40? Chomp. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> That's good damage. He's a good boy, though, you know? What'd you expect? I didn't realize it was 40 damage. That's more than a sniper rifle here. Well, not the new sniper rifles, but the old sniper rifles. Yeah. The hunting rifle. Dog really There's no modifier in it, though, because most of the melee weapons we've unlocked do like an uh, extra damage based on strength. Yeah, where's this zombie? He's here. Oh, he's, he's hanging out by the car. He's gone to our car. Should we go and get him? Yeah, we can go uh, via this building. Oh, hello. There's another zombie there. There's two zombies. Too many zombies. Not enough bullets. What's um, he doing? Is he like going through our stuff? <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to get in the back so that in, he can be like that movie trope where you get in the car to drive off and there's a zombie in the back seat. Setting himself up for later. Okay, we can just rake these guys with fire though from around this corner, probably. Oh, oh. He's gone. We can dash forward into the building. We spotted oh, him. there he is. Okay, he's running away. I think we can, we can get to here. I think. I don't think he'll reach us from there. Careful. We'll put dog in the way. Don't peek out, no, because he can't see you, so. Oh, that's true. Alright, good job. Oh man, this is. One man and dog are not supposed to be doing zombie missions. You have to go, the, maybe go the other way around. Oh, yeah. It's too risky to walk down that alleyway. One there. Oh, there he is. Detect. No, no one within eight. Okay, so it's pretty safe to stay here. <laughs> oh, um. he's got my scent. Oh, I think Stop we Overwatch him. bit him. <laughs> Get him, boy. Get him. Keep, keep going. He's down. KO'd. Good work, Badger King. Scan. Oh, Zomb gone. He, well, we didn't move this turn. Zomble gone. Zomble oh. gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's like here. Uh oh. Come on then. Keep, keep sniffing. Zombles. Zombles? Yeah, he's in that shed. He's right here. How do you get into there? Oh, oh that's the farmer. Armor. But there's definitely another zombie out there. Yeah, he's probably like around I've here. Got badges, you might panic after we after this. Oh yeah, no more sniffing for a bit. Is he just a? Yeah, he's still a farmer. Okay, no weapon. We'll have to. We'll have to give him the old wacky stick. All right. Uh, it's happening. Sam, are you still there? He's not there. He's BRBs. Run out of music. It feels weird without music, doesn't it? I don't know why. I'm just used to having a bit of like atmospheric. It's because yeah, it feels because the, the normal music is like dip, 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 dip. it's quite annoying and repetitive. So, well, the um, the, this mod pack uses copyright music, Ooh. so we have to disable it. What is it playing like fucking Darude Sandstorm? <laughs> Probably. What? <laughs> He's legging it. He's off. He's bloody off. All right. Oh, that no. guy woke up. Get him, oh, Badger we, King. We, we bit him on Overwatch. Oh, that guy's back up. Oh, oh my God, this loud. is ridiculous. Stay down, dickhead. Maybe if we kill the zombies, it win the mission, though. Oh, no, it won't, because they're still threats. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Maybe Badger King can go and deal with that other zombie on his own. And we can go and deal with the, st yeah. the stunning. The dog can just get that zombie on his own. Okay, you go get that, that farmer. This, all these uh, uh, um, hedges getting in the way is really annoying. <laughs> Here he's, he's coming back. Maybe we just blast him. Um, Let's go. We lose a lot of points for killing farmers. No, we blast the zombie. Oh, I see. So we don't lose any, any doggo. Wow. Just take it. Easy. Just, <coughs> just take it. Those were aimed shots. Like, what the fuck? Oh, because we're holding the stick. I forgot. Ooh. It's a bit more like it. 
There's a dog hiding in the grass. <laughs> okay, let's auto fire him up. Um, what the hell is wrong with you today, bottle gnomes? You're normally a good shot. Do not like this one bit. Hey, right, finish him off with the old bite one two one two bite. Do you reckon he might be armored from the front? Yeah, I like this. Back. Biting his butt. They're not, they're not soft, are they? No, they are tough. Okay, we need to go stun the other guy. So I guess we have to go around via the building. Yeah, maybe I can shoot out that hedge. Save the long walk. Nah, just do walk, because he might have gone down by that fucking route now. He might be like that. This gives him a weapon. Oh, jeez, this is a bit, of a bit of a mess, isn't it? Um, sorry, I'll, 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 I'll tidy up. You can have a sip of tea. I'll tidy this. I'll tidy this up. All right. Don't get him killed. How is he gonna get killed by a brainwashed farmer? <laughs> I don't know. You. Where's the dog? Is it here? I've done worse. Brainwashed farmer. Hello. Hello. Give him a sniff. No, that's that's bork. <laughs> it's not here. He wants to go in the shed. What shed? The sh the barn. Which barn? The one you're in. This one? Yeah. Upstairs? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the door's open. Well, it's a good thing this one there. isn't timed. I'd be in trouble. Oh, my God. Bug hunt mode. Enemies are visible on the mini-map. Oh, because it's taken so long. Oh, he's down the alleyway. What? Here he is. Goodness sakes. Come here. <laughs> you're under arrest. So is this... Um, oh, that's a cool mode, where if the game just takes too long and the enemies aren't engaging you, it just shows you where they are. Pretty cool. Oh, out of time, you... Oh, <laughs> if that guy wakes up, I'm gonna... <laughs> Come here! Come here! Under arrest! Oh my god, bug hunt. We did it! Satisfactory. Yeah. That was actually pretty good. 150 points sure ain't bad. Lots of stats for bottle names. Got some com zombie parasites. Oh, jeez, that's, that's new. That is new. Was that okay. something mission? That didn't survive the old, the <laughs> old one. Oh, we got a hangar now at this place. So ah, and have we got a living quarters too? We yeah. have. So we can set a team up here. We can transfer some some people. Yeah. Hmm. What do you want to equip here? We could get one of the trucks here, basically, and have a four-man squad here. And so the truck doesn't have to patrol here anymore. Yeah, that'd be great. It's just like here all the time. Because I guess while they're out patrolling in the truck, they're not training in the gym, right? Is it the van? Uh, yeah. Okay, and then... Just the whole load of equipment. Yeah, I guess we can just buy it all. So we want, what, like three magnums and like 15 clips. We want two nitro rifles and 10 clips. Nice. Mm. This isn't going to be cheap though, look. Some shotguns. Two shotguns and like ten of each clips. That's cheap. Mm. Shotguns, magnums, rifles, oh, and HKs. HKs. Heckler and Coke. Coke. Is it these ones? Two of these and like 15 rounds. Um, tasers and wacky sticks. Oh yeah, a couple of um, a couple of first aid kits. Some flashlights. A couple of electro flares. Two flashlights, uh, tasers, taser pistols, and electric clubs. Okay, is that oh. good? Yeah, geez, 100 grand. Oh, um, armor. Oh, they're going to carry they're their gonna armor carry with them? They're going to carry their armor with them, yeah. Okay. All right, let's transfer people. So who wants to go to the new base? What's the team that we send? Um, I think we send people who are well-trained. So let's send Porochaz. By Sentius. I do think we should build a gym here. Samwise and Snuggler. And then a couple of cadets to, um, to replace losses. I'll build a gym at the new base. How many people can, can it actually hold? 10. 50? Oh, well, I mean, the gym can train 10. Well, we will, well, I'd like to build it, but you know, it's quite expensive. Oh, yeah, we don't have any money. How much is a gym? Not, actually, no, it's not that bad. Could be way worse. Well, yeah, we'll get money in four days. There's the van. So we can name the van. 
Oh, yeah. Um, awesome. All right. Let's, let's name this fan. Who's, who's up next? Who's on the list? Uh, it is... Uh, thank you very much, people. Sado Mazokun. Whoa. <laughs> is this right? Has he donated $1,000? Uh, I believe so. Man. That's what I'm reading on the screen. It says $1,000. He's probably donated 1000 of a different currency, but holy shit. Well, if that is real, that is very that generous. That is a very big donation. It's a hundo hundos. Uh, it's, th it's 10 hundos. Oh, yeah. Of course it is. A hundo hundos would be, <laughs> be <laughs> yeah. quite a lot. Just being an idiot. Um, um, wow. Sado oh, Mazokun. Thank you. You're in. I, will I don't you. understand the For a couple of weeks now, this girl in full body, skin tight leather suit has been stalking you. Mm. Uh, every time you have free, she has suggestively showed you an empty shopping bag. You finally agreed. She's asking for us to like, give her the two high X in... Ah, um uh, <laughs> I get it. No. I believe. I believe that is the message. Uh, Bottle Nose has messaged. He says, welcome back, Commanders. Congrats on getting... Top eight space boat world championship and whatever Lewis was doing, good job as well. <laughs> I can't really talk Thanks about what I was up to. It's weird because it's kind of all because yours all is all top all secret, all top top quiet secret. Well, I basically went to um, went to Seattle to to, to visit Valve because we I went to GDC mm. to talk to people about um, the Jingle Jam generally and stuff. And obviously, Steam. I met some people from who were running Steam mm -hmm. and was like, oh, you know, we're doing it again this year. And they were like, you should come along and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Um, so I think it was, I think it was worth it. I think we, we might have a solutions to some of the problems that we had last year. So, and also it's like the first time anyone at Valve has ever even like, they're, they're so, they're so like kind of. Yeah, they don't really. They don't have PR. They don't really have outward facing people very mm. much. So, because it's sort of. It's very strange. I'd love, I'd love to talk about it, and maybe I'll try in in the, the Triforce podcast or something. But yeah, I'm not sure exactly what I should say because I don't want to. Uh, yeah, you don't want to say things you shouldn't. It's funny. It's a funny old. I've never mm. really because normally it's. So it's do they actually work at Valve or do they just swim around in their money bath? At Valve. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, they just make like an incredible amount of money for, from Steam, right? And that just takes a few like, like I don't know server managers to keep ticking You'd over. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think it's, it's one of those, it's one of these new industries, but it's the same with anything that's, that's Google and it will sort of, I mean, Valve have very much cleverly engineered Steam to be kind of, to run itself. Mm. Like a lot of the developers kind of run their own pages now and so it's quite autonomous. Yeah, it's very little from there. Well, a little bit like any of the sites, like eBay or Google. Of course, and Amazon. Like and like a vast amount of money from, from just being the place. having a platform. Mm. Yeah. Um, We've got a couple more people to name. Uh, Vidask has checked in. He says, my trick to get good tea is to add enough milk and sugar that it doesn't matter which brand I use. <laughs> That's a good trick. Uh, Vidask, you're in as a cadet. Uh, thank you very much. So he's like, what is this, like Bulgarian or something, Hungarian? He's going to let me know what that flag is. That if looks you know, like, yeah, Bulgaria or Hungarian. Do it's at least the same colors, but the vertical, aren't they? I, think. Um, I can't remember. And Theodore, a hooded figure, comes into your recruitment office with something in his hands. He opens his hands to reveal a mush of bees. No! Oh. You left me for dead in Africa, but I have found my way back, commanders. I have brought you bees. <laughs> I taste the bees! I don't think... <laughs> he is covered in bee stings. <laughs> I don't think that will work. I mean, that, honestly, I don't think we could have even done that mission better if we had it now. <laughs> yeah. What are we going to do if I we I think the flamethrowers would be super effective, but we don't bring it anymore.